Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired an extraordinary cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace to review the 2023 to 2026 government programme. To begin, the cabinet commended the Kingdom's National Day celebrations that commemorate the establishment of the modern Bahraini state by Ahmed Al Fatah in 1783, as well as the anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's accession to the throne. The Cabinet thanked all those who passed on their congratulations for this occasion. His Royal Highness then directed that the meeting be devoted to discussing the 2023 to 2026 government programme and the measures taken to advance the Kingdom's comprehensive development, led by His Majesty the King. The Cabinet discussed the government programme's pillars, policies and objectives, which are aligned to the designation letter issued by His Majesty the King for His Royal Highness to form the government and His Majesty's opening speech of the first session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura Council and the Council of Representatives. The government programme has been designed to accommodate the outcomes of the Future Aspirations Workshop and align with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The programme has three priorities, ten goals and five main pillars, which are security, stability and fairness, economic recovery and sustainable development and the quality of government services. Following the Cabinet's approval, the government programme will now be referred to the Council of Representatives. His Royal Highness assigned the Deputy Prime Minister, His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to present the government programme to the Council. His Royal Highness concluded by expressing his appreciation to the ministries and the agencies for their work preparing this programme. His Royal Highness also affirmed that through this programme, the government is committed to enhancing cooperation between executive and legislative authorities to ensure quality services are provided for the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday attended the wedding of Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa and the Majlis of the latest Royal Highness, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in Rifa. His Royal Highness congratulated the Chairman of the National Council for Arts, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the marriage of his son, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid, wishing him and his family great happiness for the future. For his part, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa expressed his appreciation for His Royal Highness's attendance and for his kind gesture on this occasion. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment and several members of the Royal Family also attended the wedding.
The Council of Representatives held its second session of the first session of the sixth legislative term, presided over by its Speaker Ahmed bin Salman al Musalam. The Council was notified of the letter received from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding each of the state's consolidated final account for the fiscal year 2021, the performance report on the implementation of the state's general budget for the fiscal year 2021, and the statement of transfers from the account of other estimates of ministries and government agencies for the fiscal year 2021, which were referred with the report to the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee. It was also notified of the annual report and the audited financial statements for the Future Reserve Fund account for the fiscal year 2021, after being audited by the National Audit Office, which were referred to the report to the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee. The session approved the nomination list of deputies for the membership of the Council's committees and approved to form a committee to study the government programme for the years 2023 to 2026. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, attended a cultural and artistic evening organised by the Embassy of Egypt to the Kingdom of Bahrain in cooperation with This is Bahrain in celebration of the Golden Jubilee of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Bahrain and Egypt. During a speech, the Foreign Minister affirmed the strength of the relations between the two brotherly countries and the cultural, religious, cultural and social ties that unite them. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna bint Ahmed al Rumehi, participated in the opening session of the 7th Arab Housing Conference held in Cairo under the patronage of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, themed towards smart, sustainable cities that achieve quality of life. Al Rumehi praised the topics on the conference's agenda, stressing that innovation in smart cities has become a necessary requirement for the future of urban communities. She also affirmed Bahrain's continuous interest in consolidating creativity and innovation in developing new communities and cities. She indicated that governments are now giving special attention to providing smart infrastructure and city building projects, which contributes to connecting those cities to the fastest services. She underlined the importance of the gradual shift towards smart cities, stressing that this should be carried out with well thought out planning methods. The Minister also highlighted Bahrain's efforts to plant trees alongside main and secondary roads and provide open spaces and children's play areas, in addition to joint plans with the relevant government agencies to provide services, commercial, health and educational facilities, as well as places of worship in cities. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning participated with a national working paper in the 7th Arab Housing Conference, which is hosted by Egypt. The national paper of Bahrain included a review of the stages of developing the general and detailed plan for the Salman town and the standards included in the stage to ensure the establishment of a housing city with integrated services and facilities in light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding the provision of decent livelihoods for the Bahraini citizen. The paper indicated that the government's goals in adopting modern strategies in city planning in general, and the Salman town in particular, were based on forming a self-sufficient society, contributing to the implementation of the national development goals, providing sustainable designs that take into account the environmental impacts of building and operating services and facilities within neighbourhoods, and protecting the marine environment and its enhancement through the preservation of marine assets and the application of the principles of urban design for water. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning also held a meeting with Egyptian Minister of Housing, Utilities and Urban Communities, Dr Azim El Jazo. During the meeting they discussed ways to enhance joint cooperation between the two countries in the field of social housing and urban planning, where the Minister expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Ministry of Housing, Utilities and Urban Communities in Egypt in hosting the ministerial meeting and the 7th Arab Housing Conference. She praised the efforts to implement the new administrative capital, which reflects the urban progress of Egypt under the leadership of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. They also reviewed Bahrain's efforts to provide social housing for citizens, especially partnership programmes with the private sector. For his part, the Egyptian Minister of Housing explained the Egyptian government's plans and initiatives to provide housing services, which are based largely in partnership with the private sector. 
On the occasion of Bahrain's celebrations of its national holidays, the Ministry of Interior, in the presence of the capital governor, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, organised a field and public show with the participation of a number of the ministry's directorates, the police band and mounted police and motorcycles. The event started from Babel Bahrain all the way to the police fort with a large crowd of citizens and residents who expressed appreciation to the Bahrain police and their gratitude for the security efforts made to preserve the security of the country. They also expressed admiration for the distinguished show and its role in enhancing the spirit of citizenship and loyalty among society.